Hey, he's... <clears throat> where's the phlegm? <laughs> hey, <he's>... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey, superstar! Mm, blah, blah, blah. Here we go. Hey, superstars! This is my August recap. What do we got this month? Uh, we've got some nice care packages. I got a VR for Sammy Thunder. I have a question about binders, and I bought way too much stuff last month, and I got to get that put away before Mrs. Reindeer notices. So let's do this. Dylan over at Double D did his frame giveaway, and I did not win, but I was watching the live stream, and he was giving stuff away, and, you know, I like free stuff. Uh, this note says, I absolutely love your art and your creations. Keep up the incredible work. Aw, uh, thanks, Dylan. You keep up what you're doing, too, pal. Here's a uh, 2007 Rack Pack. That's pretty sweet. Yes, this is what I really wanted, a Double D surfing custom. That is so cool. And the rest of this is just gravy, but uh, gravy's delicious. Here's Phil Necro, Nolan Ryan leader's card, a 68 killer, and a 74 Indians checklist. I am stoked, Dylan. Double shock it, brother. Next is from Cardwolf, who I probably annoy because I keep calling him C-dubs. He was celebrating 300 subs by giving away stuff. No contest, just unfiltered generosity. This note says, Reindeer, 300 subscriptions would not have been possible without you. I'm so grateful for your support and encouragement of the channel. I hope that you enjoy these cards. And of course, I hope that you continue to enjoy the channel as well. Well, C-dubs, that sounds like a bribe, but I do really enjoy your channel, so it is a deal, sir. Here is a 74 Dick Bosman. We might see him again later. A Stadium Club Manny Rookie. A Score Manny Rookie. A uh, 77 Eck hiding in there. Sweet. A Tops and Boss Kenny Lofton. I know I didn't have that one. And a 64 Woody Held. Very, very cool, Mr. Wolf. Thank you, sir. These are great. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Made in Canada. Da, 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 da. All right, here is our monthly care package from Anthony Noir. That's Tony Black for us uneducated. Purple tape is for weirdos. That's a whole lot of Rick Manning. Avert your eyes, Dennis Eckersley from the last care package. That is really cool. Uh, Studios de Rennes. Since the envelope was made in Canada, I thought I'd write some French. Oui, oui, monsieur. Scott to Genis. Merci, Tony. Forgive me if I butchered that. Here is uh, more purple tape, 82 Fleer Rick Manning, and an 82 Tops Rick Manning. Thanks again, Mon Ami. Fun stuff. Sammy Thunder is celebrating 700 well-earned subs with a giveaway, and he wants to see our favorite pitchers and hitters from pre-war, the 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s. So for pre-war, I've got Addy Joss, who was a beast, and he died way too early, and Napoleon Lajoie, who was so good they named the team after him. I cheated and added 40s because I could, so I've got Bob Feller and Lou Boudreau on the 1947 Bond bread cards. For the 50s, I've got a 51 early win. Feller has better 50s cards than win, but win was the better pitcher in the 50s. And the 52 Al Rosen. The 60s through 80s were tough times in Cleveland, but uh, I tried my best. For the 60s, I'm going with Sudden Sam McDowell and Rocky Calavito. Uh, representing the 70s, I went with Dennis Eckersley and Frank Robinson. And I'm cheating on the 80s and showing some of my artwork instead of cards because I'm an artist and artists are big cheaters. Here is Len Barker and Super Joe Charbonneau, both really great guys. Uh, I could have picked better players or more valuable cards, but I tried to pick some cards I might not have shown in a while. So uh, congrats, Sammy. Keep doing what you're doing and eat some lightning and crap some thunder. Or is it the other way around? I can never remember. Let's move on. All right, I have a binder question. Here is my Topps 50s binder. I've got the 51s in little Bowman sleeves, and those look great. And then you get in the oversized 50s cards, and there's enough room in the binder pages for the larger vintage card sleeves. But then you get into the standard size cards, and when you sleeve one of these, the sleeve looks all wavy and wrinkly. Let's see if I can get that on camera. So it looks way better without the penny sleeve, like these down here. Um, I guess my question to you binder people is, do you sleeve your standard size cards? I'm pretty sure I'm using Beckett sleeves in Ultra Pro Platinum pages. Is there a better sleeve for that? Maybe? I don't know. That's why I'm asking, I guess. I am curious to know your thoughts. 
I bought way, way too much last month, but before I get into all that, last month I made fun of Four Leaf for giving me this Sam Zoldak card that I already had. I'm kind of a jerk, you know, but uh, what I didn't realize was this is a no copyright version of the card, and I did not have any of those, so this is a lot cooler than I thought it was, so I'm sorry, Four Leaf, please forgive me. Anyway, uh, here's what I bought, a Ryan Merritt autograph. He was called up from the minors and won a game versus the Blue Jays in the 2016 ALCS. And then he disappeared forever, but it was a great memory for me. Uh, Casey Blake autograph, I did not have one of those. Uh, Dick Bosman autograph, he had a no-hitter in 1974, so, so that's part of my autograph projects. And Cy Young winner Cliff Lee autograph, part of the 95 World Series team. We've got Ken Hill autograph. That one's kind of hard to see, but that checks that box. Uh, from the 2016 World Series, we have Rajay Davis, another great Cleveland memory, even if it didn't pan out. Um, working on my Guardians autographs, here is Luke Maley, Tyler Freeman, Will Benson, and I love this guy, Oscar Gonzalez, so that puts me at about 80% of all the Guardians autographs. Here are some Andre Semenis cards I did not have. Um, Nolan Jones tops now card, but he's gone back to AAA. And George Valera, National Chrome Refractor Doohickeys. Um, I have watched this kid play at AA a lot this year, and he's had a great season. He's been really fun to watch. Um, I went to a card show, and I picked up this Cognac Jason Kipnis rookie and a Tris Speaker Bat Relic and a Larry Doby Bat Relic. I blame Lou Rock for making me look at Relic cards a lot more than I used to. Uh, I did not have a CC Tops Traded Rookie. Now I have this one and this one. And I was looking for more Diamond Stars at the National, but they were really overpriced. So I'm glad I stayed patient because I got this Joe Vosmick for what I thought it was worth. A really cool card. I'm not done yet, though. We got a 51 Tops Mike Garcia to complete my Redback team set. Here's an autographed Al Rosen postcard I snagged off of eBay before Sean Tiford could get a hold of it. He probably has three of these already anyway. Uh, I like the address, though. It's just James Elder, Lima, Illinois. And then I declared it to be Bob Feller month here at Ranger Studios. Here's an autographed card of Bob Feller riding a tractor. Must have been a Mangini special because I got it for three bucks. Uh, 55 Bowman, I bought off eBay while I was at the National. I, I saw one at the show the next morning for three times what I paid for it. And here's the 48 Bowman signed and a 51 unsigned. These were sold together and I'd been looking for both of them. And again, I got a fantastic deal. And the seller even threw in this Bob number to 25, a Grady Sizemore and a Mudcat Grant. So yeah, I was extremely happy with that score. That is it for now. Thanks to Double D Vintage, Cardwolf, and Tony Black for the awesome care packages. Thanks to Sammy Thunder for the awesome contest or giveaway. Don't want to get you in trouble with the elders of YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I got to put all these away, so we'll see you real soon. Good job. I like it.